Hey YouTube, I have a secret. It's a dirty little secret. One that I don't share with everybody. I'm embarrassed by it. Don't judge me, okay? This is my secret. This is my garden from this year. Like I said, don't judge me. And don't pay him any attention. But this is my garden from this year. So, you know, I'm definitely afraid of bugs. Well, um, my tomatoes, they started getting, what was it? Root rot or in blossom rot or something like that. And I was told, and I think I wasn't told the right information, but I was told that everything was diseased and I needed to get rid of it. And I couldn't even use the soil for compost anymore. So I just gave up the garden at that point. And I have not been out here in like a month. And none of the tomatoes ever got any bigger than this. So it wasn't even like I could use them. I could probably take these in the house, right? And put them in a salad. I'm not peeling them or anything. But... Yeah, that's what I was told. I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? They've got rot. And look, it's a bug. You see it? <coughs> Hush. It's right there. Okay, let me get back. But yeah, I was like, what do I do? They've got rot. And and she was like, yeah, they're all diseased. And um, you can't do anything with them. And I was like, well, well, hell, I ain't going back out there anymore. So those are my tomatoes. Now my green beans are a whole nother story. I'm about to show you that. Like I said, don't judge me. Here we go. <laughs> These were my green beans. And actually, there is a collard that came up from last year. But I gave them to the bugs. Because those little Japanese beetles were every everywhere. And those little caterpillars were everywhere. And... I got like the the powder and I was putting the powder on them but the Japanese beetles was like mm, that's like salt to some french fries keep it going <laughs> and then they started looking at me like I was lunch and I was like I ain't about that life take it <laughs> you can have it all because I'm not doing that so <laughs> these are my green beans and that one collar and yeah I'm not touching it I'm gonna pay one of my nieces or nephews to come and tear it all down <laughs> but I'm gonna do better next year I am going to try my hardest to not give up the garden um this was a little herb garden and that was cilantro and I did use the cilantro and then I think that's lavender so I was able to grow something. I should probably put some more soil down in there. I don't know. And then I had the exact same herb garden over here. But that thing dug it all out. So I was either thinking that I could use this for potatoes or maybe garlic next year. I don't know. But <laughs> that's my garden. That's my dirty little secret. <laughs> Thanks for sharing it with me. If you have any tips, I probably could have saved all of this now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I probably could have did something, but they didn't. You can see they never got any bigger. So what am I supposed to do with that? They're so little. But I probably could have did something with it. Because they don't look diseased to me. It's like all the ones that did have the, the rot at the bottom. All of those have fallen off. So, I don't know. I don't know. Can I use this soil for next year? Do I need to completely gut it all out and start over? Or can I replenish it or put something down for next year? I'm open to suggestions, as long as I don't have to touch no bucks. Have a blessed day. 
Thank you for watching TT's Urban Pantry. If you enjoyed this content or was able to learn anything from it, please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And as always, have a wonderful and blessed day.